Well, plan A didn't really work. The last video I had, I had them all lined up. Looked like it was going to go. But when I hit the gas, I'm going to turn on the pressure on the gas. There was a lot of leaks. All of them were leaking. But I think I finally have an idea. It's pretty stable and solid now. By putting the top grommet that comes on the stock injector. Kind of gives this... Because what was happening is the bottom O-ring would stretch out and the top O-ring would go in between it. So like sandwich. So it wouldn't seal up. So by putting this, I'm thinking it's stabilizing it more. Whereas creating a little wall around the bottom one. So it gives it a little more strength for the top one to finally make a seal. Then the bottom one will reseal it. You know what I mean? The bottom one is just a precaution. But the first one needs to seal good. And now you can tell this is a lot more stable than they were. I would just touch them and they'll pop out because they were really sealing. But now I think I got it. So I'm going to try to just make it soon. That idea worked out good. Okay, there you have it now. Officially, no leaks. LS1. 5.3, 4.8, 6.0 flex fuel Chevy injectors installed on a D16Y8. Um, it was kind of tricky to get the injector into the into the space that I had for it. So I had to rig up a little idea I did. And it worked out pretty good. Let me show you. Okay, here are the injectors. Here's the LS Flex Fuel, and here's a OEM Honda. It has one O ring on top. This one, I saw a thing online that you break the little holder thing on top here, and you put one O ring, two O rings, and it works better. But that didn't work out. So this is a sample one. Don't break those things off. They're hard to break off. And it's pointless really. It might work but it didn't work in my application. Alright. Here's the injector. It's a little rim it has on top. I guess to hold the O-ring originally. I saw a video yesterday on YouTube saying to break that. Slide it down. Break this. Slide it down. And then use a regular o-ring there one o-ring but i tried that and it was kind of tough i have the aftermarket a1 technics fuel rail so it was kind of tough but what i did was this i almost set it up and i'll show it to you i'm gonna go ahead and use that grommet it comes originally on the honda injector they come with this rubber piece here i'll go ahead and take that off once you take that off you're gonna have that from it. You're gonna use what I did was I used one original Honda O ring and I bought some aftermarket O rings for the fuel injectors for Hondas, but whatever. So, what I did was this I'm gonna set it up. This is the final product that I ended up using on my setup. I had some O rings from a AC job that I did. So they fit there perfectly on that ring, on this, on this rim. So I put that there, but before I did that, I put the base, the base, this thing that goes, what do you call these things? Bushing, no, grommet, the rubber grommet that goes in the manifold. I took it off, I slide it in there first, I put the o-ring to support it, so when I push this down, this o-ring is going to hit the hole of the manifold, and it's going to create some sort of seal, and this will just be like a backup seal. Okay, that's the bottom that goes into the manifold, and then on top, I use that grommet that I took off the base of your injector, OEM factory injector. 
I took that grommet off. I left it kind of overlapping the second ring. And then I used like this. This is how I finally got them. I overlapped the bottom ring. And then I snuck them in there. I put a little spit. They say to use grease, but I always use my spit. And a little spit on the, on the hole. And I shoved it in there. And surprisingly enough, it worked. Without this top grommet here, if you don't put it on top of the second ring, what happens is that you try to push it in, and this bot, this top ring, will go underneath the bottom ring, and the bottom ring will sandwich, will sandwich out, and you'll never create a seal. I had to do it three times, like two times like that, until I, I was thinking, thinking, damn, how can I support this bottom ring? just so it can hold enough for the top one to get in there. Once the top one's in there, the bottom one is just gonna be like a reseal. And there's gonna be a reinforcement to that. So this I have it now in the this I have it now in the car. I'll go out there and show you. Alright. So you can see it's a little gas still back there. All that shit I spilled. Grind this down to support I grinded that down maybe like a, I don't know, not even an inch, I don't know, not even a quarter inch, maybe like a one-tenth of an inch, I grinded it down, just so I could, just so the fuel rail could sit a little lower. Incredibly enough, the fuel line reaches fine, and like you can see, the grommets are nice and tight in there, grommets are nice and tight. Hopefully creates good seal, no vacuum leaks for the boost. And about it guys. Our next video will be car running. Hopefully I, I, I gotta settle the Hondata. Uh, I seen a lot of videos to uh, use uh, on the Hondata use the RC750 injector settings dead times. And they should work out good with these. So I'll try that out. I'm gonna I'm set up the Hondata, put everything back together. And go from there. I still gotta, I still gotta do the plugs. So once I do, once I do the plugs, once I change the pigtails and the plugs, I'll go from there. I may just, I'll come back. Well, here we go. After a little while, they all wired up, plugged in. We get the laptop. I'm going to Honda. I already have a tune saved for it. So the tune that it has now on it, I just changed the injector size and stuff. 